I said it wasn't gonna fit. I just got here. It honestly doesn't look done. I'm scared. If you haven't cleaned your bathroom before you've entered it, what are you doing with your life? Stop it. If you've come to uni and you haven't bought seasoning, cancel your degree and go back home. Right, so I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not prepared. I am tired. I've lost some of my stuff. I only really started packing two days ago. I woke up at half six. Nothing's packed. The car, it's already full. I'm gonna have to carry the rest of it on my head. I don't know what I'm doing, my voice. You might as well call me a man from now on because I, I'm, <laughs> I'm tired. This is all that can fit and there's a big heap of stuff inside. I just wanna go, get me there, get me there now. We will see if this accommodation is done. I don't mind staying tonight and just saying, you know what, let's call it a day, let's go another day. You can always tell someone's moving to university because on the motorway, everyone and their dog has their boots stuffed like that. My eye is twitching, I feel like I've been on crack. This is not good. When it came to packing for university, I was just taking my time. Yesterday, I did these cute little um, blue gel nails myself. And then I went out shopping and then I was having a little chit chat with my sugar daddy for like three hours on the phone. I don't think you understand, but I really don't fit in this car right now. If we turn a corner and there's too much pressure on the turn, too much gas, I'm gonna fly out. My mum was like, oh no, it will fit. Just sit down in the car and I'll just stack things on top of you. She was not lying when she said she was gonna stack things on top of me. I just got here. It's mad. It honestly doesn't look done. I'm scared. Okay, this is oh, okay, so this is where the post, post comes in. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then if you go up the stairs, yeah. Up the stairs, follow the signs up the stairs, you get you'll see signs from the social area. Go and have a look around. I'll say yeah. trolley for Thank you. So basically the lifts don't work, so I'm going up the stairs. This is so cool. You can sit up the top. And they've got heating. Then they've got this. They really, they did a good job. This is so cool. That's the communal kitchen. This social space is so large. Like honestly, I didn't expect even this. Like the fact that you can come in, wash, and then have the time to yourself. But that's what it looks like. This is cute. My room is a state. The sunlight comes in quite nicely. I've literally just got back in from London. My eyebrows look like they disappear like here and here. I promise, look, see, there's, there is eyebrow there. My room, as you can see, is the biggest state. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up. One thing I've realised is they haven't given us, in my first accommodation you had shelves, they've only got drawers in here so it's hard. Wait, let me show you. The drawers are slow closing which is nice. You've only got a place for your clothes there and then some drawers. Look, look at the bloody place. Look at the bloody place. I overpacked with my cooking wear, I've got so much cooking wear, I don't know who I think I am. I'm not Gordon Ramsay, I'm not Gino De Campo. I'm just Rachel, like, I don't know why I bought so much. I left my body lotion at home, so you girls are gonna be a very dry, scaly person. Please do not mention it in the comments. Hey, pins, 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 pins. I need to show you, I've got so many cork boards, notice boards, I don't know what you wanna call it. Well, I've got two and they're massive. Let me give, let me give you a little share of them. This is the first notice board, which is by the desk area. And then I've got this big one here. So what I was thinking is I've got all these Polaroids, which you've probably seen in some of my other videos that I had on my backdrop. I'm gonna put them here, make them look cute. Hopefully I've got my fairy lights. This bag, kitchenware. This bag, kitchenware. I forgot to take the bread. 
my bread is doing the Harlem shade. Look at the life of my bread. If you haven't cleaned your bathroom before you've entered it, even though like mine is a brand new accommodation, what are you doing with your life? Stop it. Get the microfiber, get the Dettol. I'm really hoping that it's... If you've come to uni, come on, wait, hold on. Let me, let me get this. If you've come to uni and you haven't bought seasoning, cancel your degree and go back home. If you haven't got a bit of Cajun, a bit of paprika, I don't want to be hearing butter and garlic paste as the only marinade. And don't say, well, it's it's sea salt, it's it's the rock salt from the from the, the mountain, the, the this. No, stop it. Chili flakes, at, at least some chili flakes. Don't be telling me you haven't got any seasoning at university and you think someone's going to accept that. Also, another thing, medication. Freshest flu is real. It doesn't matter where you are. As long as you are in the vicinity of university and you have a university lanyard, you're gonna catch it. And you're gonna catch it quick. Mine was more like a cold. Other people, they look like they've, they're, they're gone. They're, they've flown to the Lord. They took one trip up. They weren't sure if they were gonna get a return ticket back to earth. And God was just like, you know what? I'll let you off, love. Sent them back. Take your vitamins from early, before you move to university, take your vitamins or, or don't take them. But if you catch the flu, yeah, you, I'm speaking to you there. First year, second year, third year postgrad, I don't care. If you catch it, don't come to me. Don't stop complaining to your mum, because I told you and I warned you, okay? Done with all the advice. And now I'm gonna go back to my, back to my work. Of course I had to bring my The Ordinary stuff. Although I'm bringing in all my products, I'm gonna clean down the, the kitchen. I'm gonna clean down the bathroom. But I wanna put everything here first, then start cleaning, disinfecting, and then put everything back so I know where to put it. That's the way I'm gonna do it in my brand new kitchen. Kitchen. I'm done. This vlogger lifestyle, it's not easy. I've been recording for ages and I'm still not done. But that muffin tastes good. I'm scared this duvet is a king size because my mum has a king size bed. Oh, it's a king size. I knew this, this thing was too heavy. Finally, I'm done to summarize everything. I dropped my stuff off on Saturday. I went to London for my brother's surprise birthday party. Came back Sunday, Sunday to today, which is Monday. I finally, finally finished clearing my room out. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like kind of in the daytime with the lights on. And then I'm gonna show you the kind of look that I have in the evening, which is a bit more cozier, a bit more snuggly, movie kind of vibe, Netflix and chill. So this is the flat door, that's the kitchen. This is my room. Come through, the lights are just here. This is the setup. You have coat hangers there, coat pegs. Here is the bathroom. So you have this lovely kind of open out area where I put my skincare products, my hair care products. Then you've got your sink, your toilet, and some places to put some towels, and then your shower, which you just open up. Oh, you push. I was gonna break that. Then down there. Leaving the bathroom, we come through. My favourite part is this mirror. You've got a long mirror where you can literally just take photos to your heart's content. I'll be taking some cute photos here. You have some cupboards, oh, shelves down the side. Underbed storage, cupboards here. You've got this desk, which I first realised that it's not straight, it's kind of slanted, but it's quite cool. I put all my uni lanyards and stuff in there. My bed, which I'm just going to come around this side. Nice three-quarter bed. What I love is that the heating is here. You can turn the lights off from here. And I've got my electric blanket, reading light, and the infamous Polaroid wall is now on here. My view isn't the best. Today, it's been like 26 degrees. It's not too bad to see kind of an industrial skyline. 
my YouTube light is here. And then just some things I've kept at the top because I don't know where to put them in the kitchen. So this is my room in the, the nighttime setting. So I'll have all my uni work here looking nice and cute. I've got this nice lamp from, I think, Dunelm. And this is the infamous Polaroid wall. And you've got a cheeky reading light. I can't show you what it looks like too nice because as you can see, it's still quite bright outside. But this is the cozy nighttime kind of Netflix and chill scene, mood, theme, whatever you want to call it. So this is it pretty much for me. My hair looks like it looks a mess. I've switched up last minute, but yeah, all my uni work will go here. All my cute Polaroid stuff will go here. So if we take a Polaroid together, it's going on the Polaroid wall. I'm going to show you the rooftop, the gym, the gaming room in a lot more detail. So I'm going to do a uni video of the new accommodation. So if you want to check out the beautiful and wonderful place I'm staying, stay tuned for that. If you really like this, please like, comment, subscribe, share to your dog, your tortoise, your cat and your neighbour. And I will see you soon for another video.